there's an x variable and a y variable in this case. The independent variable is on the x-axis and the dependent variable is on the y-axis. And we try to form a relationship between these two variables and draw a line, in this case a straight line. And over the next series of videos I'll explain what all this means. What we try to understand is as the independent variable is moving or changing, what happens to the dependent variable? Does it go up or does it go down? How does it change? If they move in the same direction, if the independent variable increases and the dependent variable increases as well, like this, we say there's a positive relationship. If on the other hand, as the independent variable increases and the dependent variable decreases like this, we say there's a negative relationship. The line would look like this, go downward. In linear regression, we try to make a line, a line to make a linear regression. The key is on line right there, a straight line. You can also do curved lines, but for the this topic, it's all straight lines. To actually conduct regression, I take observations. And I'll just plot some more observations in here randomly. I'll stick them in here like that. And I try to find a line that will fit, a straight line that fits to all these different points. And this is called my regression line. And it's based upon the least squares method. And in the end, I want to minimize the difference between the estimated value and the actual value. I want to minimize my error errors. This line will have a lot of errors if I compare the actual to the estimated value. And again, the point is to minimize these errors or make them as small as possible. Now let's imagine I put study time on the x-axis or make that my independent variable. And the dependent variable becomes grades or GPA. As study time increases, grades should go up. There is a positive relationship. In regression, we develop these equations like this. In this case, y hat is estimated grades, and it's based upon, or it's equal to, b0 plus b1 times x, where x is study time. b0 we derive mathematically, and it is the y-intercept. B1 we also derive mathematically, and I'll do it in a later video, and it's the slope of the line. In this case, the slope is positive. In the next video, I'll discuss how you develop these equations. Now, if I change the x-axis to time on Facebook, we see a negative relationship. More time on Facebook, grades will suffer and go down. A negative relationship. What we're estimating is still grades, estimated grades, is equal to b0 minus b1 times x, where x is time on Facebook. b0 is st still the y-intercept. The y-intercept. And it is a calculated value. The slope of the line is negative b1 because it's downward sloping, negative relationship. And as I said before, I'll show you how to calculate this equation in the next video. The x is the independent variable. The y is the dependent variable. The x is what we control, what we manipulate, what we change. And the dependent variable is the outcome. So study time is the independent variable. It's what we control or manipulate. And your grades are dependent upon how much you study. Now this looks really ugly, and it's what I'll talk about in the next video. 
but I'll step you step by step through it and I'll hopefully make it simple for you.